Stranger Things has to be one of the most anticipated television series to ever hit the air. And with it personally being one of my favorite television shows, I absolutely knew for a fact that I needed to go ahead and take a shot at making a new poster for season five. I figured this would be a good challenge because there's not many assets available. I mean, season five hasn't even Bruh. began production yet. But without further ado, that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and get right into it and unravel the secrets of the Upside Down. One of the first things that I wanted to actually establish in this piece is a sense of composition. I really wanted to experiment with colors, so I really made sure to lay out my landscapes properly by using stock photos of grass and trees and other things like that on the horizon line, and overall to just kind of match my grid perspectives. By using different stock photos of roads and other things like that, I was able to actually make sure I had a correct perspective going downwards of the road to kind of just give it a long feeling of depth. And plus it also helped with the horizon line, I mean you can never go wrong with that. Using different brushes, I went ahead and continued to blend the grass, and obviously the farther the grass is away from the camera, the smaller it is going to appear, so I did a lot of adjustments and continued blending the streets and the grass basically throughout the whole piece. People always ask me what my straight up process is when it comes to photo manipulation and the honest answer is first I lay out all of my elements, I adjust values and then I go ahead and paint the color back. So that is one of the things that I absolutely did here during this photo manipulation. I made sure to have all of my values in place, including the sky, the grass, the road, anything that you could really think of. And I went ahead and darkened everything and started painting back color. Now one of the hardest challenges I've ever really had to do in photo manipulation is actually executing the Stranger Things sky. The sky itself is absolutely super vibrant, it's super red, it's got a lot of blue, so I went ahead and took an hour or two to overall study and then get back to my piece. I quickly found out that creating sources of lightning definitely was the move for creating more life in the piece overall. Like mentioned before, the sky absolutely took a lot of trial and error, so I ended up actually creating a light source with the lightning and then painting back the blues onto the clouds to create a nice sense of reflection. And overall, like, you know, when light hits something, it doesn't necessarily always bounce off. It always creates a glow, almost, kind of like around the aura of the light. So I made sure to really put emphasis on that to make it look like it was actually in the clouds. Going ahead and messing around with color range, I really wanted to make sure that I got that beautiful orange that we see in the Stranger Things sky, and I absolutely was able to knock it out of the park with the quick selection tool and taking a chunk out of the sky, quite literally. 
I knew that I absolutely needed a light source, especially since the kind of upside down or Stranger Things sky is way darker than the normal sky in the show, so I wanted to really put emphasis on that. Adding some more lightning in the upper right portion where the orange light was was absolutely key because there needs to be a light source and obviously you can't just put a blotch of light assuming it's a sun or something like that so I decided to make my light source that strong orange lightning that's in the upper right. Right about here, I was experimenting a lot with depth of field, and the horizon tree line was absolutely the move for this. Like mentioned before, step two is I always darken my value, so I make everything in the piece extremely dark, and also add a little bit of color balance to really blend the colors together. And now you can see I am slowly starting to perfect step three, which is where I actually end up painting my light back onto the subject to really create a nice ambient feeling overall. Now pushing towards my highlights, I went ahead and created a nice highlight stroke around the trees and I went ahead and created an even deeper light source behind it to really create a nice overall glow effect, especially on these flowers and plants and overall grass that are in the middle ground slash foreground of the piece. Now working towards the lighting of Eleven, I wanted to make sure that her edge highlights were very, very strong, especially since there's a presence of Vecna, and Vecna is very dark and eerie. However, the lightning behind Vecna brings a phenomenal light source into the overall piece. It was around this point where I started feeling like the piece was missing something and I came to the conclusion that it was two things. One, ambient lighting and haze lighting, and two, the title and the slogan. I felt like with so much empty negative space in this piece, instead of adding different elements like a Hawkins sign or other elements that could fill up the piece, it would be a perfect opportunity to actually put the Stranger Things logo in it. I mean, after all, it is a poster for Stranger Things as a whole, so I mean, why not? I went ahead and tried to match the layer style of Stranger Things to the best of my possible ability and to be completely honest I ended up settling for this kind of like white indent kind of glow neon effect because it just matched the poster very very well. 
similarly to the hawkins will fall slogan i went ahead and did a very 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 skinny font and just kind of smacked it on there and made sure that the balance was good i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch out the rest of this piece i hope you guys enjoy the final outcome and i am super super intrigued to see what you guys think i hope you enjoy it And that's it. We have successfully designed our very own Stranger Things Season 5 poster in Photoshop. I absolutely love how it came out and the use of colors and overall composition is definitely something that I was looking for within this piece. And I just want to take this moment to go ahead and thank you guys for coming along the ride. Whether or not you are a fan of the show or you simply just enjoy the creative process, this project was an absolute blast to do. Go ahead and let me know what you guys think down below in the comments, whether or not this is a good poster. Maybe it lacks better execution. I... I'm not entirely sure. But without further ado, this has been Frostify, and I will see you guys next Friday with a brand new YouTube video. Peace out.